Sometimes a party isn't just a party. The risks, it's not really worth it. It's not worth it. Somebody's killed in a car crash in our country every three hours. Could you talk? No. Could you walk? No. Could you feed yourself? No. It may be the difference between you being in a wheelchair or you walking away. Unintentional injuries are the leading cause of death among Saskatchewan's youth. Rolled and landed on its roof. The girl inside was dead. Injuries don't happen by accident. In fact, 90% of them are preventable and predictable. That's where the PARTY program comes in. PARTY stands for Prevent Alcohol and Risk-Related Trauma in Youth and teaches students five key messages. Buckle up, look first, get trained, wear the gear, and drive sober. It is a licensed national program that started at the Toronto Sunnybrook Health Sciences Centre in 1986 by emergency room staff in response to teens who were concerned that they kept seeing their friends injured or killed in preventable trauma. It totally changes it from just reading it in a book or being told by a teacher. Yeah, that perspective, instead of having someone like teach them the textbook, you actually have to see them and how it influences their lives. The party program takes students on a journey aimed at showing them how fragile life can be and teaches them to make smart choices about their activities and behaviors. As a parent, I would seriously rather get that call at 4 o'clock in the morning and come pick you up than to get the call from the emergency or the police. I'm sorry, Mr. Sean, is so-and-so your daughter? You need to come down to the police station or you need to come to emergency. During the party program, students have the opportunity to hear from those on the front lines. There's the chance to hear from an addictions counselor. Here, the students will have a candid discussion regarding scenarios that may cross their stupid line. Out of four people who start using drugs or alcohol, out of four people, three of them are gonna end up with problems in their life due to drugs and alcohol. Get that? Out of four people, three are going to end up with problems in their life due to drugs and alcohol. They step back and say, wow, it, that was real. This, these were real people. You're going to see the worst of the worst. You're going to see pictures of uh, smashed up cars. The party program offers more than just listening, though. It's also about experiencing just how difficult living with a disability is and how the simplest tasks, such as dressing and eating, can become very challenging. Okay, here we go. Got one. Okay, so let's try and find that sweet spot. There's no way I can do that. I'm paralyzed on one side. My other hand is numb. After experiencing what it could be like, students then hear firsthand from an injury survivor what it is like. And they say your life can change in an instant, and mine did uh, 10 years ago this summer. This doctor came in and he said, just told me straight, he said, Pete, he said, you suffered a serious spinal injury, he said, you'll never walk again. People don't think it will happen to them. Pete was one of those people, and he found himself using a wheelchair for the rest of his life. Cooter is another injury survivor who saw his life changed dramatically after going to a party where he was assaulted and left with a severe brain injury for life. I was in a coma for four months. There is years and years and years of rehabilitation. Man, it is the most worst. It is the worst feeling ever. It's like being born but trapped in a 20-year-old body. It's first-hand accounts like Pete's and Cooter's that really hit home for students. You could see how it could happen to anyone. Like, you, you're just out with your buddies, having fun. You saw the people who had everything and lost after one moment. And just, I didn't want that to happen to me. The message is the same every time. 
Unintentional injuries kill, but they don't have to. Prevention is key. It's a message these students say they'll take with them. With your stupid line, after they did the example, it made me think of what mine was and how I could reevaluate it. So like now I bike with a helmet because I don't want to have a crash and be paralyzed or anything. I was kind of skeptical at going to it at first because, you know, just another program where they, they talk to you and you just sit there kind of bored. But it's, it's the interacting that they do, like being able to apply it to your like everyday life. It's, it's rewarding once you finish and realize what it's really done for you. It gives them a real hands-on life experience that they can't get from a classroom. And those benefits, uh, I can't speak volumes about how good that experience is if it stops one student from making a rash decision because of, you know, they've seen the consequences from something they viewed and what they experienced at party, then it's well worth it. It's well worth it. <laughs>